or homework 8, problem 5, sketch the Nyquist diagram for the following system. So we have our Unity feedback system with this function. Um, so before we plot the Nyquist plot, we want to plot this. So we have three, uh, three poles and no zeros. So we have a pole at 0, minus 3, and minus 6. And we're going to plot, uh, we're going to follow this line so we can uh, plot the Nyquist plot. So it starts um, at the origin, just skipping around the the, uh, the pole, a uh, infinitesimal amount, going all the way up to infinity, coming all the way around at infinity, and then back to zero again. So um, we are interested in the points A, B, and C, and if we can sketch, if we can judge. What's going on in those three points? We can probably sketch the uh, the Nyquist plot. So we're going to start at point A. So we know that at point A, we know that the the magnitude of the uh, Nyquist plot is going to be the magnitude and phase is going to be relative to these three poles. So at point A, which is at the origin, we know that the distance between this pole and A is going to be infinitesimally small. So since we have the uh, the lengths of the zeros over the lengths of the poles, we have a length of a pole that's infinitesimally small, which is going to make this ratio in infinite, basically. So our point A prime here is at infinity. It's starting at infinity. So we're going as we move up to point B, which is going up the j omega axis up up to infinity the angle so also for point a we can see that the angle relative to all three of these poles is zero and it's the angle of the zeros minus the angle of the poles and that's going to be the angle that we draw here so obviously it's zero so we're going to have angle zero so at b all three of these angles are ninety degrees so we're going to have negative 3 times 90 is negative 270, so it's going to move 270 degrees going from point A to point B. Also, the um, length, the distance from these zeros to B is infinite, so that means that we're going to have a zero distance. So that for point A we had an infinite distance, but now we have a zero distance. So we know that it's going to get from A to B, it's going to move 270, negative 270 degrees, and it's going to have a zero magnitude. So from A to B, we're going to loop all the way around, and this is actually at zero, but, we're, but we still have an angle of positive 90 degrees because we moved negative 270 degrees around the circle. So now we're going to see what happens at point C. So at point C, we're still an infinite distance from the poles, so we're still going to have a zero magnitude, but our angle is going to change. So it's going to go from three, ti three times uh, negative three times ninety, which is negative two hundred seventy, to negative three times negative ninety, which is two hundred seventy, since it's negative ninety degrees down at uh, negative infinity. So it's actually going to move a positive two hundred seventy degrees. So we moved negative two hundred seventy degrees around here. Now we're going to make a positive two hundred seventy degrees coming all the way back here point C. And from here we don't have to worry too much about what happens next since everything is uh, symmetric. It's a mirror image of whatever happened at the bottom half so we can just copy whatever happened and go back to A prime. So now we need to know um, it's not required for this problem but we also we, it's important to know where minus one is. So what we do is we take the transfer function and substitute j omega for s. Uh, so this is just the denominator. We substitute j omega, we do some math until we get this expression. So we have the real and imaginary part. So when the imaginary part is zero, omega equals plus or minus three root two. Um, and that's important because where 
where j omega is 0, that's where we know we are on the real axis. So we know that omega is going to be 3 root 2. We plug back into the original transfer function to get 50 over minus 9 over 3 root 2 squared, which equals negative 0.31. So when the imaginary part is 0, so we're on the real axis, we have the value negative 0.31, which we know is going to be right here since all these loops are going to be zero and this one's infinity so they don't really they're not going to come out in the equation only this point right here negative point thirty one so we know that the uh, minus one is not enclosed in the loop if we wanted to check for stability